everybody and welcome back to the Blossom Crochet channel. My name is Rebecca and in this crochet tutorial I will be showing you how to make the beautiful moss stitch but in the round and as a rectangle. So I already have the square version of this on my channel which I will leave a link to in the description box but this one as I say is for this beautiful rectangle. So the lovely thing about this tutorial is that it stays absolutely perfectly square. I've seen some where it twists out from the centre, it just looks warped and twisted. So this one stays absolutely perfectly rectangular as you can see. You get these amazingly sharp and crisp corners and it's just a really wonderful one to work up. It is so, so simple once you get the first couple of rounds out of the way. So for this sample piece that I've been working up here, I'm just using the Hayfield Baby Blossom Chunky in the shade Buttercup and I've been using a six millimetre hook. Now I'm probably going to use these as placemats for my table outside, but if I was doing this as a baby blanket especially, then I would definitely go up at least a half hook size, maybe even a full hook size, just so that you get a bit more of a soft drape to your finished product because this one is just sort of a perfect one for, um, like I say, like I'm using this probably as a placemat. But you can use absolutely any yarn that you like and you can use the recommended hook size or you can go up a half or full hook size. So for the purpose of the tutorial, I'm going to be using this Shapey's Stone Washed Yarn and this is the shade Turquoise for anyone that is wondering. So you want to start with your slip knot on your hook and I will just say at this point if you're not subscribed to my channel then please do that now and also click the little bell icon so that you never miss whenever I upload a new tutorial. Okay so you want to do a foundation chain in an even number so that is literally a multiple of two. However just remember the shorter your chain the more squat and square like your rectangle will be the longer your chain then the more oblong your finished rectangle will be. Just for your information, for this rectangle that I am working on here, I did a chain of 20. So I'm going to do the same again here. So just a multiple of two, an even number. So yarn over and pull through. It's one, two, three, four, five. So once you've completed the length that your chain needs to be, you want to work into the fourth chain from the hook. So you're going to count back one, two, three, and this is our fourth. So you want to insert your hook into that chain, yarn over and pull up, yarn over and pull through both of those loops. So that is your first double crochet. So please do remember that I am using UK terms in my video. So whenever you hear me say a double in this video, if you're used to US terminology, then just remember that that is your single crochet. You then want to chain one and you're going to skip the next chain and then you're going to UK double in the one after. So again, yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through both. Chain one, skip one and UK double. And you'll just repeat that all the way along your chain. Skip one, UK double, chain one. Okay, so into your very final chain, you should be doing a double. You then want to chain two, which will create a corner space. And back into that same chain, you'll do another double crochet. You then want to chain two, which will create your next corner space and you're going to double crochet back into that same chain once again. So in that chain you have got a double, chain two, double, chain two, double. At this point you will chain one again. So we've gone all the way around that corner, well those two corners, and we've chained one and now you want to be working into the base of where your previous stitches were. So we've chained one and we're going to go into the bottom of this chain here where we've got our other double on the other side. Chain one and then again you'll be skipping this chain and working into where you've got your double on the other side and you'll just work that all the way along. 
Okay, so I'm at the end again now and I've just got this one stitch left here where you can see I've got a double from on the other side. So I'm going to put my double into there and then go into chain two from my corner and then I'm going to put a double back into that space and then we're technically back at those skipped stitches at the beginning which counts as our chain two. So that is your first round complete because we're not going to fasten off at the end of this round but we will do at the end of all of our future rounds. These two first setup rows are just slightly different from all the rest of the rows that you will complete. So now you want to go straight into that chain space here. So straight into that chain space and do a double crochet. And at this point I would recommend marking the top of that stitch just so that you can find it nice and easily when we get back round to it. You want to chain two and then back into that same chain space that you've just worked into you'll put another double. Chain one and then you're ready just to start your normal moss stitch so you will skip the double crochet and your new double crochet will always go into these chain one spaces. So skip the double, do your double crochet, chain one, skip the double, double crochet in the chain one space. And you'll work that down your long edge, so double, chain one, and double. Like I say, nice repetitive pattern to work up. Chain one, and then I'm at my first proper corner chain two space. So again you also may find it very beneficial to mark your chain two corner spaces because they can get a little bit lost in this particular pattern. So into your chain two corner space you will create a new corner so you'll do a double crochet, chain two and another double crochet in that same space. chain one because you've got a double crochet there to skip over and then into your next corner chain two space you'll do a new corner double chain two double chain one again mark your chain two corner spaces for your next round if you feel like you might need to and then again like I say I've chained one and I'm ready to just work into my chain one spaces in between my double crochets so double crochet chain one, double chain one and you're just finding all of those chain one spaces in between your double crochets. Okay so we're pretty much back around now I've got my corner chain two space here so I will work that as normal with my double chain two and double. We want to chain one and we're going to slip stitch to the top of that very first double of the round which hopefully you popped a stitch marker into. So you will slip stitch so yarn over and pull through both. So that is your first two rounds completed. At this point now you're going to turn your work so that is the key to keeping this perfectly square or rectangular <laughs> without any twisting whatsoever. So you're going to turn and when you turn you should straight away have a chain one space which you're going to put a UK double into. So turn and straight into that chain one space you'll put a double crochet. Mark that stitch. <laughs> chain one and you're straight into a corner chain two space. So you'll create your new corner in that space double, chain two, double. Chain one and then you're ready to work down your long edge. So double crochet into every single chain one space with a chain one in between all of your stitches. Again, once you get to your corner chain two spaces, please mark them if you're not 100% sure at where your chain two spaces are. So I've done my new corner and then I've got a chain one space along my short edge now which I will need to work into. Chain one and then I'm at my next corner chain two space. So I will create my new corner and then again one more time down my long edge. 
with my moss stitch. Okay, I'm at my final corner chain two space. So I'll create my new corner, chain one, and I'm ready to slip stitch to the top of that very first double crochet of the round, which I hope you can either really obviously see or will have put a stitch marker in. So again, that is the end of this round. So I will show you this next round, but then that is the round that you will repeat over and over again until your project is the size that you want it to be. So once you've slip stitched, you will turn and you will have that chain one space straight away right here. And you will start that with your double crochet and you'll pop your stitch marker in. Chain one and we're straight into a corner space. So your corners will always be double, chain two and double. And then chain one and work down your long edge. At the end of this round I will show you what you would need to do if you were to change colour. So obviously if you were using a single colour or a cake yarn or a variegated yarn like I was for my larger sample piece that I showed you then you will just continue in the way that I have been showing you. However, if you're just doing a few rounds of single colour and then changing, I will show you how to do that at the end of this round. So I'm getting towards the end now. So you can see I've got one clear chain one space here that I need to work into. Final chain one and then slip stitch to the top of that very first stitch of the round. So if you were carrying on in the same colour, you will turn and you will work your double crochet straight into that chain one space. However, if you're changing colour, I would fasten off here with a chain one. I can't do that because I don't know what I've just done with my scissors. However, you would snip that off and pull that tight. So you'll turn as normal and then this is the chain one space here that we would normally turn and work straight into. So you will literally start with your slip knot on your hook insert into your chain one space that you would normally work into anyway, double crochet, chain one, and you will continue working your round exactly the same as before. Now of course as you get back round you will finish with your chain one and you will slip stitch to that very first double of the round that you did with your new colour. And you will then, if you were carrying on, turn and back into that chain one space to continue. However, that is where I am going to stop. <laughs> so you can see, even on this small one, it is perfectly straight. There is zero twisting whatsoever. Your edges, uh, your corners, sorry, are really, really nice and sharp. And then you can just work that pattern to create whatever size project that you want such as this one, you can continue going to make the most beautiful, beautiful blankets. So that is it for the tutorial. I really do hope that you have enjoyed this one. Remember to find me on Instagram as well. And yeah, just follow the channel, subscribe to the channel, like the videos, leave me a comment, it all helps. And I will see you for another tutorial really, really soon. But thank you as always for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.